The following is a review of a comic and should not be looked at as an endorsement of the creators involved. If you really think that it is, you should probably be getting yourself checked out because you're reading into things that aren't there. Also, the quality of this video is low, so if you're expecting high standards, go check out someone else. What you see is what you get. Thanks and enjoy! Hey guys, how's it going? Well, like I said, we're back once more for the Hunger Gospel. And this will be the last of the main Marvel Zombies stuff related stuff, aside from the two Battle World related books. Those are tertiary Marvel Zombies, but I'm still gonna do them anyway. I got a surprise for you guys then on um on Monday on either Monday or Tuesday. No, on Tuesday. Definitely got a surprise for you on Tuesday. Then come Wednesday, I will then finally end all this by reviewing the Marvel Zombies Resurrection. But right now, let's get into Halloween. As we have a great cover by um, Francesco Favela. However, the guy's done the um, Archie, Afterlife with Archie. Which I should review that at some point, too. But anyway, it's the return of Fred Van Lente. But with a different artist. Um, oh, what was his, his name? It's... Asalando Vidi, and I like his artwork quite a bit. But yeah, we open up with this young woman who's shooting, has been picking off zombies. She has a lot of bullets, and she's been you know, shooting them all out. We then see that um, um, she has a son with her. As, yeah, they're keeping an eye on the zombies, take them out. And we have this adorable little cat of theirs named Blackie. As, well, yep, you know, saying like, oh, somebody's in the wall. Oh, it was Blackie this whole time. <laughs> so, yeah. After looking over the calendar, her son asks, Mom, what's... Uh, uh, his name's Pete, Peter. He says, Mom, what's Halloween? Also, a zombie gets taken out by a landmine. I love it how this mother plans for stuff. And we also find out Blackie has a habit of sneaking through, squeezing through, and able to get out. So, that again, this bit of an eyeball of the mother. <laughs> The mother, and Peter then says, like, um, can we just have fun for one day, please? So, the mother digs out this costume of a Wolverine, which she said was always her hero. And then, you know, basically she says, I'm going to go sneak off and get some candy. Okay. But then the kid realizes after she left that Blackie got out. Can the cat's so adorable. And little Peter goes following after him, uh, after the cat. As he's walking around through the desolated town, completely actually easily accepting it, comes across an old man. An old man who's still alive. Who didn't survive, it seems. As he basically taunts him saying, this isn't Halloween, it's Devil's Night. Man, if I'm being from Michigan, I know that night well too well. Thinking that he, fo he found Blackie, he follows after, it, uh, after, uh, after her, only to find out it's a zombie squirrel. And then he's grabbed by zombie Carolina of the Runaways. And that she and, um, oh, I, I just forgot his name right now, but one of the guys from, um, um, oh, we have Dark, oh, yeah, we have Dark Hawk. And again, the guy from Avengers Academy. And of course, zombie Squirrel Girl and one of the Power Pack kids. Again, playing up with some of the stuff left from Army of Darkness. As. Yeah, they are ready to want to eat the kid. The kid's even trying to taunt them, but it's like, ha, 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 yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So then his mom shows up shooting him, and I love this. The kid actually stabs Dark Hawk, uh, Dark Hawk in the eyes with the claws on that costume. How sharp are those things? And then um, the mother grabs him, and then he says, you know what to do? Hold my breath. Good boy, as... The mother phases through. That's right. The mother is Kitty Pry. And I love how they keep that. She a good secret. But surrounded by a bunch of the squirrel and zombie squirrels. They make their way in. And um, all of a sudden it's midnight. And we see a, vo a voice an old, uh, voice speak out. It's the old man as he walks through and taunting all of them. Telling them, respect your elders. They say to hell with traditional man. And he, oops, he lights them all on fire. It's Mephisto, trying to protect what few souls are left that he could eventually corrupt. As he taunts Kitty and his her son, Peter, or Pietro Resputin Pride. 
Colossus' son, basically saying, will you end up like your father at all? Leaving a bit of a mark. Then, when they get back home, he then asks, like, Mom, did Dad take him up on his offer? And her mother is basically like, are you kidding? He walked right past the old man, scra uh, old man scratch like he wasn't even there. Your father was the best and most noble person I ever knew. And basically saying up until the end, yeah. And then I love this bit then. Where, um, it's Halloween where the dead are with us, um, just in, uh, with us in spirit. Not just rotting flesh. Uh, why do I keep doing that? Rotting flesh. Then she reveals a surprise that she found when she came back. Blackie. And thus, we end. This was a great done-in-one one-shot. Still set in between Marvel's 1 and 2, of course. Kitty, it's, if anyone's going to survive, it being her makes sense. And up a lot better than her Marvel Returns counterpart, that's for sure. Or Marvel Zombies Return counterpart. And her having a son was P um, Colossus, naturally. And, yeah, this was just a great send-up. And until the, um... Secret Wars, Battle World stuff. That's what the last we had. And this, I cannot think of anything better. It's great. And see, the kitty is the one most likely to survive. And her having a son with her to help keep her sanity, obviously, makes sense. Her being such a badass makes sense. Mephisto wanting to protect what few souls are still alive makes sense. And having a bunch of the teenager, more the, the more teenage um, hero zombies also was interesting as well. Well, like I said before, I've got just two more left. The two Battle Worlds. Battle, wor it's Battle World Marvel Zombies and Marvel Zombies. Age of Ultron versus Marvel Zombies. No, I'm really looking forward to those two. I'll just be pumped right about now. They're better than Evil Evolution, but not by much. So, until then, I'll catch you guys later.